Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. Uh, first of all, let's design the database. We want to create a project. Uh, this project contains employees, uh, office, department, and and projects, job applications, and so forth. So first thing we need to do here is just design a database. So if you go to the SQL Server 2008 and click Connect, okay so we need to be more patient here so if you go security databases you know just want the concern about databases uh, if you go to we created a new database from here go new database and create a new database BWWSFD this is the database name um, okay so we have this database uh, we went to the database diagram okay we just created a new database diagram and we created the, the following tables uh, we have an employee department office you can create a new uh, by add a, a new table here and just assign the name and give it the attributes and for example we have a project here uh, we have an ID begin date end date uh, description uh, we have a bland result actual result and department ID all these value are included in the project here uh, this is the first thing after we created the following database uh, we went to uh, the visual studio we created a new project we go to the, our project here we say add a new item and a new item we just assign the win window form and we create a, a new form let's say form uh, project okay uh, we go to uh, you know add new data source or you can basically go to the data sources here and you can uh, add a new data source we already created a new data source um, which is from here you just add a new data source database data set you just assign the connection okay you assign the connection from here you just connect this copy this link and go back to uh, Visual Studio you just paste this paste this here uh, define the database which is BWWFD and just this connection and say OK and after that uh, you will have the database uh, the data set here we have all these table okay so we need to create a new form uh, for uh, uh, to work with so I, I just want to make uh, the project here just drag and drop the project okay or you can before you do this you can come here and make sure that you open the form go to the data grid view copy and paste a drag and drop after that go to the project gain we have details you can also drag and drop the project gain to get the details okay in this way uh, we just have assigned uh, the ID the begin date the end date the description the results all the stuff uh, we can add we can remove uh, you can also add other stuff here um, okay so for example if you want to add the text field uh, text field and you want to add a button for example here you want to just assign a button uh, you can put a picture for the button here uh, if you want to select something mm, like let me select a good icon for example if you want to search for something click OK um, so this is a basic th the basic thing um, okay so if you try to uh, run this okay we need to add a button in the main form so if we go form one uh, go to uh, toolbox uh, go add a new button and let's say this button will be about projects so just change the text to projects and just double click on this 
just open the new form we have a form of project so let's say frm projects fr equal to new frm projects and just want to disable uh, uh, show up uh, display this so just say uh, say uh, show in order to display this form I just save this and run the program uh, click projects so we're gonna run the projects here you can see here we have an empty table so if you come to uh, add to the add new okay if you wanna uh, you know add values for the description for example blah 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 bland results actual result if you want to save the barman ID for example you want to save this okay uh, you want to save this again for example if you want to come here and assign the begin date the end date and all the result here you know so as you can see here we we see all the stuff so as you can see if you add other field uh, we can add others other thing like here department ID for example and just save you can see that we have saved this okay so this is pretty much you can add other stuff uh, for tool, tool uh, you know here you can add if you click this pen you want to do something and if it, any change you want to do uh, for the data set you just click in the data set here so suppose that I'm I'm in the project and I win, I need to add a, a new query for example here so I just come here and add a new query and select next uh, next and it gives you select ID begin date end date description for example uh, you want to search by name so let's say where for example where um, uh, for example let's say search by department for example word department underscore ID equal to let's say a value so in order to, to assign a future value let's say V here okay click next and name the method name the method that you, that you, that you want here so I, I just want to say get uh, get get project by department department finish so if I go to the source to the form here and uh, if I click this button I need to put a code here and this code is responsible for getting data and fill the table but in order to do that the best way is do the following so put this the uh, we talking about project uh, binding source we have a grid view source and we have uh, binding source but you need to choose the binding source the data source and assign the value that you need and we need to get this value from the adapter so uh, we're talking about adapter and this da adapter is called the project table adapter and we need to call the method and the method that we have here is get project by department okay so I need to get the ID so if I put int ID here and I say I need to get the, the value from a text field so I put a uh, strip tool uh, box one the text and I want to convert this to uh, to a string so I need to parse it and say int parse uh, wait a minute okay so we get the ID and we need to pass that value into the department so I put here ID okay and and get the data back but you notice that we use in parse but the best way is not use in parse the best way is using a try parse so if you come here and say minus one okay and if you come here and say ID equal to int dot try parse and say uh, for uh, the value that we're talking about here is the text field okay and then one of this out to the ID okay 
so you didn't need to put this you just say in dry parse and that 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 is that that's enough so we just assign this we get the the, the source data from the table adapter and we call the method inside the table adapter and you know and we give it the ID and we just get that back and say for the binding source the data so source so if you want to try run this uh, if you go to projects uh, you can see here we have two projects so if you click here you can move uh, step forward backward you can uh, see the description the blind text all the stuff so if you try to search for the bottom ID you notice that here we have two so if you want to try search by two so we got only the f one department here so this is cool if you want to search by we got nothing you know so it's back to the project we have two departments you can move uh, forward between this you can click in each of these you know uh, you go to the, the you know you change the value you can update for example if I go to the uh, department ID 3 you want to change this to be in the other department say 4 and just save it you can see we have you know change the stuff anything you want to change you can change it easily you know uh, but let me just add uh, other stuff here if you go to the project form project there's an option here called the uh, uh, selection mode uh, selection mode we want to assign the selection mode to be uh, full row selected so here we just assign that and make this more wider so okay if you try run this projects you can see here we got all everything so if you select any value you gotta uh, you know as you can see here uh, we can select the entire row okay this is pretty much for now um, uh, there's a previous tutorial on C sharp professional tutorial uh, give you an introduction to uh, how to work with Visual Studio with SQL Management Studio but this way we use an ADO.net as a as a framework where uh, we uh, work with uh, data sets adapters and this is pretty much you know make the process uh, much easier so you can build a whole application within uh, you know within two, 20 minutes so it's a great stuff as you can see here I already have an MBE class and you know you can update you can delete you can department you can do all the stuff from here and also I have a project and you can just change the interface it's it's a basic interface but it, you know it's for educational reasons anyway guys I hope you enjoy f from this tutorial you benefit something and added values to you uh, please guys don't forget to subscribe the channel here's Ahmad Nasser from Stereo 007 at YouTube uh, thank you for watching I appreciate you watching and see you in the next video tutorials. Thank you.